do it. I have another solid orange gradient here. So the way I made that solid orange gradient, <coughs> excuse me, is I just drew a box. So up here in my tools, I'm going to choose a rectangle tool and making sure I don't have any layers selected. I'm going to draw a rectangle and you will notice that lo and behold when I draw this it creates a separate layer that is a shape layer with my controls for my rectangle right down here. So now the color for this rectangle, let's go back up to our toolbar. Right here it gives me the fill and the stroke. So I see I have kind of a brown. I'm going to click on my color and you can see that I can fill this with really any color that I want. If I have a brand color and I have the hexadecimal color or the web color, I can put that in here. If I have the RGB color, I can put that in there as well. So let's make it something else. If I want it to be that orange color, I can click on my eyedropper and click up here and then I can select that too. Um, Sorry, I have something going on here. Okay, so I've made that orange because I sampled this orange. Let's click OK. Now you'll notice that it appears to be um, transparent too. There are two controls here for fill. One gives you the color, and the second one, when you click the, the word fill, now it gives you these other options. So you could put a gradient in there, um, a radial gradient, a solid color, you could do uh, blending modes like you see in Photoshop or in Illustrator where you can multiply, darken it, screen it. I can also reduce the opacity. So you can see I've reduced the opacity here. And to change that, I can just use my slider here if I want, make it 100%, or I can take it way down. So you have a preview to turn on and off as well. So you can see in the rectangle that I drew here, I wanted to gradiate this down here and have a little bit of a gradient to blend into the sky of the video. So what I did is I simply selected this, the linear gradient, and you can see it automatically builds that gradient. Now it's going the wrong way. So you see, well, I don't have those fancy controls like I have in Photoshop and Illustrator where I can just type in the degree. So what I have to do instead is I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to go up here in my tools again, and I'm going to choose this rotate tool. I'm going to click here and just rotate it, hold my shift key down so that it snaps, and then go back to my selection tool. And now if I want, I can make this the size that I want it. So if I wanted this to be, I'll keep this up here so you can see it. I won't make it the full width, but now you see that I'm making this a rectangle. Um, with a gradient in it. So now if I want to go in here and adjust this again, I'm going to go back into the colors and you see that in the colors now, since I put a gradient in here, it has replaced, or I'm sorry, it has added to the colors the gradient up here, uh, the gradient control, the editor. So if I click here on the white, um, I can put maybe a red or something in here and then it goes to black right now. I can change that black to white. Actually, I guess I want to go the other way, don't I? I want to make this, let's go from this orange here. I just selected the orange with my eyedropper. And then over here, I want this to go to white so it blends. So in here, um, if I want to add another color, um, I just click anywhere on here and then I can pull it. If I want that orange to be more orange at the top, the gradient itself, more orange. I just pull these little midpoints down and kind of just play around with this. So I get more orange here and then just a quick little fade here. Now this is still fading to white down here, which I don't want. So if I click on this, um, I can change the opacity of this by clicking at the top. I can make this zero and notice that now it blends from the orange down here as it blends, it doesn't blend to white anymore. It blends into like basically an opaque color um, or see-through and you can see the video through it. So I want to pull my orange over a little bit more. I'm going to do the same. Actually, you know, the problem I have here is this should be orange, right? So let me sample this color again. And this orange then should be a little bit closer.
Okay, so you get the picture here. So now I have this orange blend. Now you'll notice that I think I also still have this. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is still at a reduced opacity when I click on the fill. A lot of things you have to remember in here. So I'm gonna make this 100% opacity. And now you can see that full orange. And then at the very bottom, it just blends into that. Now, if you want to, you can play around with these little controls in here too. These kind of do the same thing where I can pull that orange blend down if I put it almost to the bottom and then pull this one down too if you want more of a visual representation of what's happening in there. And then that is what I put behind my type and then that blended down into the sky. Okay, so that's how I made that. It's on its own separate layer and I'm going to type delete because I already have, um, as you can see, I already